Good afternoon and welcome to my daily broadcast. Yes, this is my birthday and I'm going to get into that in a moment. Um, this episode, in fact, this is episode number 644 and the topic today is um, it's my birthday and I'll answer more of your questions and I'll explain that in case you missed yesterday and uh, go from there. So before I jump in, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker and relationship attraction expert helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which led to these talks um, over two years ago, now called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart, hence the MFTM prefix in technical. And so today we're episode number 644, and the topic today is, yes, it's my birthday, <laughs> So, and I've been receiving lots of love and, and posts and comments and things have been wonderful. And I'm answering more of your questions because what I threw out yesterday, in case you missed it, was an invitation for you to ask me your questions, either directly over social media, or if you know my number, reach out to me that way, or emailing, or um, through a website, however you do that. And I just want to say the response has been wonderful. What I've discovered selfishly is how much I love doing this work, even on my birthday, even when I could be relaxing, when people are willing to ask their questions. And it's been basically, it's been all women so far, not surprisingly, because most of my audience is women, but it's been a real joy to respond and offer support, guidance and answers and have it be received. It's been really very rewarding, to be honest. And it, I mean, it sounds crazy to say it, but it's like, yeah, I do that in my business and I get with paying clients, but it's kind of fun to play it this way, which is a free gift. So I'm letting you know right now, because I decided a little bit earlier about this, that I'm gonna extend this invitation for at least another 24 hours. I might go a whole week, we'll see, no promises. But I enjoyed the interaction and the quick Q&A and the support I was able to offer. So first of all, I'll let you know now, in case you have got some questions brewing you haven't asked me yet, it is not ending now, it's gonna continue. Because I said yesterday, I was gonna run 24 hours until my Facebook Live today. I lied. <laughs> I'm extending the offer beyond that because I'm having so much fun with it. Um, and I'm gonna speak to a couple of questions that were asked, if I remember them correctly to provide you with some insights from what I shared back in response to what they said. Because some of the questions that were asked, frankly, are pretty universal. They're not unique to that individual, so to speak. So I thought, well, let me just sit with the, um, I'm trying to make sure that the phone is straight, close enough. Um, so I thought, well, let me just share a couple of the, the questions that were asked. No names, can we keep this confidential? Um, but then provide the answers that came through because it might help you too. So one of the questions that came up was, um, well, the way that it was phrased was how, well, the way I'm, I'm interpreting how it's phrased rather, was how to purge the memory of a guy from, from her brain. This woman asked me, like, how can she remove this, this, <laughs> and I'm using the term, infestation of this man's psyche in her head because she still feels very attached to him. And so what I shared back to her, because I said, and this is the challenge, of course, without more detail, I had to be fairly, circumspect and inclusive in my response. I said, the truth is, and this may be for you too, if you're someone who's basically fixated over a past relationship, or you're attached to an old old love, lo love that's been lost forever and you feel like you wish you could have him back, this may help you. And I said, it depends on the level of attachment that's going on, first of all. So let me give you those first, then I'll explain more how this might help you directly. First of all, I said, I don't believe that someone can actually get into your head and get stuck there. Like it's not, not something they can do. You may have embedded them in there, but it's not up to them, it's up to you. Because first of all, I want to remind you and her that you have power. In fact, you have all the power. Nobody else can control you or intercede into your mind, your heart, your viewpoint without you letting them in. And you can change that choice anytime you want. So that's the first thing, you have the power. Secondly. I said if it's an emotional hookup, like, uh, excuse me, not hookup, an emotional attachment, like it's really hooked in there, it could be psychic. And if it's psychic, then there are things you can do, known as, there's a thing called cord cutting that I've learned some skills with, and there are people out there teach it much better than I do, and you can find it online how to do it. I can explain it if you need help with it. How you can basically just energetically cut the cords, like you're putting a knife through butter, so that you no longer have that attachment to that person energetically. If it's an emotional attachment, there's more heart-based. Nine times out of 10, it's because it ties into old patterns, old wiring, old beliefs, which also is in your control. It's just you never actually maybe accessed it that way. 
So in this particular process, you can actually undo the, the um, wiring and rewire it the way you want. So that's three different things, that's three different um, approaches to this format. Now, here's the thing, the thing. <laughs> And, and that, if you watch my broadcast for the last two and a half years, you know I talk about this quite a bit. It's not a unique new thing I'm talking about right here. But I wanted to um, speak to this point that we are habitual creatures that like to stay in familiar territory. That we as be, being habitual creatures, we like things that are comfortable, familiar, like they used to be. And this is one of the challenges of relationship is when you want a new relationship paradigm, you want to change the deck, you want to start all over with a new paradigm, new relationship, it's easier said than done because our comfort level seeking behaviors will tend to seek out what's familiar. And if your relationship that you want is different from what you had in the past, you're going against your comfort and your, your perceived safety. And in some cases, that perceived safety is actually false because it's tied to some sort of wounding, hurt, abuse, something like that. But to just simply decide you're going to change it, it takes a bit more effort than that usually. Once in a while you can, like, cut it clean and move on. But for most people, and I'm one of them, I went through it myself, the recycling of old paradigms is kind of normal. And so to choose a new paradigm requires some circuitry rearrangement, so to speak, or some reprogramming, or some new um, thought processes, depending on what level you believe this to start to work on. So I want to give you that piece first. That's one thing. Another thing I want to throw on the table is because, because again, I have quite a few people asking questions. So that's why I love doing this. And again, I am extending the offer for another twenty-four hours because I had so much fun doing it today. Um, one of the questions somebody asked was about being um, unfamiliar and being worried about not being received out there in the dating world because they've been out of the dating arena for a while, and to get into the dating field now, especially with all the new apps and everything else, they feel like nobody's going to like them. And this is a woman, so I want to speak to the women particularly about this one. And this is one of these things that I'm adamant about, so I'm sure you get this, ladies, is that it's not up to them to decide. No, it's not up to the men to decide if you're the right one for them. It's up to you to know that you are the right one for who you want. The subtle difference there, but I want to make sure you get this point, because this is one of these um, deceptive ones. <laughs> For most people, sorry, excuse me, let me say this another way. For most women, you've been trained by the culture, by society, to have a, um, I can say this another way, I can say this another way. You've been trained by society to, to put, basically put up with what you get. Yes, I'm, I'm outing people this way. And part of that is because the culture set up for men to think they're in charge. Think they're in charge. Get my point here. And this paradigm, this um, yeah, this paradigm, the way things set up where men seem to decide and women don't get to choose, is utter bullshit. <laughs> Let's be blunt. Ladies, you have all the choice, all the power, all the control you want. If you don't want the man, you don't you don't want a certain sort of man, you can change your choice anytime you want. Thank you, Della. Nice. That, thanks for the wishes. I've been having lots of those today. I've been receiving lots of love and lots of support and lots of things and lots of questions that I invited suggested if about relationship stuff. So that's why I'm talking about this today because um, I'm extending my invitation for another 24 hours. For people who want to ask their questions is my gift. It's been too much fun. I couldn't, could not do it, even on my birthday. So, yes. So the paradigm of dating is really in the women's hands, but my many have not been told this. So I'm letting you know on a little secret because the way relationships work is that we may go hunting the men we may go hunting pursuing chasing looking to attract the woman we want or sorry excuse me, to capture the woman we want to use that terminology but you get to decide if you if if you will let us or not ladies you have a lot more power than you think i want to remind you of this again and again and again that's why i do all these talks is that you have the power always it's not to the man to decide it's up to you to let him in but you don't have to let him in unless you really want to now Another piece of this is, and for this is for my friend, I told her this as well, so I'm going to let you know as well, from the point of view of going out in the dating field, it's not to seeing if a man will like you or not. It's getting clear what you really want in a relationship. Ladies, you get to decide what you want in partnership. It's not up to him. What happens, though, is when you have a clear image of what you want, a clear vision of what you want, then a man that fits that paradigm is more likely to cross your path that you may want to say yes to. 
That's the simplistic way of saying it. I actually have an online program called Attract the Man You Want because it does that. Because And so teaching from that was teaching a piece out of it saying, look, you can set up the vision, the intention of what you want as a woman and you actually attract in what you're looking for and it becomes a magnet for the right sort of man to come find you. However, one caveat, if the man that you're pulling in by magnetism is not the right type, maybe your vision is not quite clear enough. Because the thing about this is it's immediate feedback. If your vision is aligned to where you really want to be, the sort of man you want to be with will show up pretty, pretty quickly. Not like in two seconds, but pretty quickly. But if you start getting the wrong sort of men showing up for you, you may find your vision is out of alignment. Or alternatively, your vision isn't strong enough to override your history. And I mentioned that earlier about the history running through doing these things where you're being comfortable doing the old paradigm. So basically just explain these in simple terms. If you don't have clarity of where you want to go, you're not going to get there. And if your old um, tapes, your old paradigm is still running, then your vision won't be strong enough. So those were two of the teachings that came out today and what I was sharing with, with questions and came answers. If this makes sense to you and you want to talk about this, let me know, because again, I'm offering my free advice for the next 24 hours. But if you want to go deeper and actually go coach, go working out coach with me, let me know as well. I'm going to keep that available to, to the people who want to go deeper. What I've been doing today and what I'll do through the next 24 hours as well, as I mentioned, is continue to offer my answers to your questions. But bearing in mind, these will be fairly succinct, like paragraph response type things to you. If you want to go deeper, we can. But I want to make sure you have the opportunity to get some of your nagging questions answered so you can actually more success, more love, more joy in your life starting right now. So with that, I thank you for watching this broadcast. I hope it's been of use to you, use to you and these sharings have been relevant to what you're going through, if you're going through it. Um, also let you know if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Usually, sometimes it moves around, even on my birthday. So I'm doing it today. Um, you can watch the live broadcast on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go onto my business page, which is barryselby.author, different from my personal page. I'm also putting them on YouTube. And again, if you have questions about um, your own love life, you want to reach out, you can just post a question in the comments below on either place, Facebook or on YouTube, and I'll respond. My YouTube channel is Barry Selby, and the playlist on there is Messages from the Masculine. Thank you, Jeanette. I appreciate the love and support. And yes, any questions you have, feel free to reach out. Um, and I hope it's been of value to you. YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm stay on track. So the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. You can subscribe to my playlist there. Excuse me, to my channel and then watch the playlist there. And finally, I have a podcast, but there's nothing. I don't want to promote that right now because you can't ask questions there. So with that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And if you have any questions or any comments or thoughts about love and relationships, I said I'm extending the offer for another 24 hours. So uh, ask away and I'll be here to support you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.